Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I just have just got like I will make um a bag, a hanger out of this nice baby leopard um leopard uh, print fabric. So I will this one I'm cutting first. I'm cutting a strip, shoulder strap first that way. It's out of the way, and then I'm going to cut the main bag pattern that I am planning to. To make so this will be the strap shoulder strap so from here i'm going to cut um look at this space i need to be a little bit but i can make it a little bit high because i have a way how i want this to look like so so i'm going to cut here just to get this out of the way and then we have this out so that's the look I like so this is the down part I'm going to also cut here the, the lining um, but the thing is, I don't like the way this is looking a bit too soft. Oh, the way. This way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I'm going to sort. Um, first of all, I'm going to measure. I have to cut um this square part to make um so that we can have a good shape of our bag. I will measure it for you, that way you can, if you want to just make the same size of this bag um, then you know the size of the bag I just do it um, okay so we have from up here to down we have 22 centimeter and from the right we have 40 centimeter so the strap is 81 centimeter and then I have to stop first before I make the the, the crown up on top for uh for making the closure so first of all I will take it to the machine we saw it the way I wanted to sew it and then we continue from there so now we're going to join I was back together at first I wanted it I don't want it to be straight like this I am going to uh, make some gathers uh, for it to be more um stylish I just don't want it to be straight. So I'm making these gathers on top here. That way we can have some kind of pattern. But I'm, I'm making four gathers on both sides. You just, I don't have the measurement of the gathers, I just make the way I feel like. So that way, um, this, yeah, that way, um, it will just bring this pattern I want. So we measure this part and then we want it to be in the same same um, length that it doesn't look different from the other side. So we're gonna make here oops put it this way. I'm gonna make it this way, so I'll have to correct the other side. So 
So now that's how it's gonna look. Can I see like this? And I will do the same to the lining. That way, I don't know if I should trim the lining to be the same size, like instead of it to have gathers, but I think I will leave it like that for it to have gathers. And now we're going to sew our gathers first. That way, they are out of the way. I'm lucky. She wouldn't have done that. Anyways. This is dangerous. So I'm going to. Today I was not really like, I was not planning to make this tutorial, but after a lot of work today, up and down, I just thought, okay, let me just uh, do something. That way I have this tutorial out. And then I continue with other stuff that I'm planning to do. So, you see, that's how it's looking like. That's how it looks like, and then we're going to... We're going to do the same way the other side. Oh, the last one. Okay, now we have these gathers, which is making our bag having a form on it, like that. So I'm going to sew this um, lining first, and then we continue with. So now I'm um, gathering the. Um, the line for the bag the same way I did for the main fabric, the leopard fabric. Make sure you when you do it, you make sure you do it really well. That way the the, the gathers they face each other um and they fit well that way the bag comes out uh, the way it's supposed to. See? So so as you can see the gathers that's how they look. That's how they look. I hope you can see well what I'm doing. That's how the gathers look like. And I'm going to sew this other side as well, the same way. This is a nice bag for, for winter as well, right now. And it's kind of stylish. Very stylish. And if you want such a bag, uh, if you don't feel like sewing yourself, and you want me to sew one for you, you can order. You can order and I will sew you one. I have my website, but you can just send me a DM or something. I will put it also on my, my Instagram as well. Um, that way you can see it. And yes, I will take some pictures for for better presentation how the bag came out. So, I will do my best. I always saw most everything, like from clothing, dresses, clothes, and also, um, now, as you can see, it's done. And it's equal with the main fabric. And now we're going to um, sew the ends here. That way we have our bag. But first, I think I will sew them like this. If I do that, I won't be able to turn it, so I will sew it first, and I will leave it. I will leave one end that way we have space to turn the bag. So 
So I'm leaving some space that way we can be able to check on that later. So I have left a space here, which I will use later to turn the bag around. So we're going to continue sewing on this part. Once I done, I'm going to sew all of it to the other side down. I'm not leaving any space, I just left it the other side so it's enough for turning. So now, and we're going to do the same thing also with the main fabric. So let's you see how it's looking. It's looking pretty nice. Now I'm going to join the main fabric. Yeah, I mean you can still go and do the finishing, but for this tutorial, I'm just doing a quick tutorial, so I'm. I won't do the zigzag on that too, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. So, cutting the excess fabric as well. But I guess I will do for this one, I will make sure I will do a um, zigzag. I have a uh, side here, but the machine here does also a good job. So, I use this. So, as you can see, it does a good job. It's on the zigzag, so I'm going to just do this part as well. One more. Oops, oh. So it's a nice zigzag, so I'm going to do the I'm going to sort also the other side. Excess fabric as well. Then do some zigzag. I like such. Um, I don't take um, the extra when I'm doing accessory. I don't take this extra to my side here because the machine does also a really good job, as I said earlier. So if you have any questions about machines, I have. Um, yeah, I would. I, I, I'm. I would be glad to do a video of the machines I have for sewing. So just leave a comment down below. And I will do that video for you. So now we have our bag. It's looking pretty nice now. So I'm going to... I'll be sewing it around first, but... Um, uh -uh, I was almost doing something wrong here. So I will sew around here first. And then we, I will go get our... And I will cut from the fabric, the leopard fabric, I will cut another uh, band for the for the top. I'm not sure if I want to put a zipper, but I will see how I'm going to do this. At the moment, yeah, I just wanted to sew another um, top band for it to be more nicer. So just uh, like striking, <laughs> like a kind of a bite off. So just um, trying to put the, to join the, the I'm joining the fabric, the lining and the main fabric together first. That way we can sew it together and then do our finishing of the bag. 
So I'll be going around the top. So I'll be thinking, if I should slowly, when I saw like this, it'll be like for me to put a boundary around, I think I will change my mind and sew it differently. Because it will be, because already the, you know, the, the, the fabric is thick. And when I do whatever I want to do, it will be hard for me to do the finishing well later. Let me I will first join these two. That way it can stick together at the bottom. So. So I'm just joining the down part that way. It can be really not be moving all the time. You know, it's, it's crazy when you, the lining is moving around when you are having the bag or you're using the bag. I find it to be so ridiculous. So during the time, on my time sewing, I have learned to do some things differently. So now that we've joined our, you see, I joined this part together like this. That way we can have, we can just turn our bag and it's the lining stays in place instead of it moving around. This is looking good. I think I will just, I'm not going to use this part no more. I'm just going to sew it down. You know, the part I left to open because I was thinking I will use it for tying the bag. So I've sewn it down. Now we have our bag getting there. Well, I like it. So now what I wanted to do is I wanted to put um another band around here for I think it looks getting better, so I'm going to cut another band which we can sew around on top here. So now after sewing the bag here, we need um, a band that we can use. Just you know, it's looking great. Yeah. So I'm going to use the material. I want to see that I have. Something looks. I will use this. I have to cut a little bit more that way. We have um, made for. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to see that it's the same size. We have to turn it. And now I'm going to cut this into half. That way I have two halves. That way it can go all over the I will sew this around, you know, back around like this, that way it looks like this. And then the strap comes here. I think I'm going to reduce this strap because I think a shorter one is better than a longer one. I'm going to shorten it. I'm not going to do it as long, that long. So I'm going to sew to join first this, and then I sew around, and then we're going to join this. I'm going to sew this strap. I'm going to show it here again. Now we have for our strap is. 65 centimeter. So now we're going to sew this, and then our bag will be done. I don't know if I should make um zipper, but I think it's not necessary. We can have our bag without a zipper, because if I make a zipper, I have to make again. Um, I don't know if you want a zipper to fit, but I'm going to make it like this. But if you order and you want a zipper on it, then I will have to do a zipper on it. So this is just a tutorial for you to see. So now I have joined the um, upper part. I'm going to. Uh, just put it together that way I know what what and where I am putting those I think it's a little bit big I'm going to remove to so to trim it a little bit because it has to fit really well and it's kind of big so let's see if it's gonna be fitting now so man it has too much drama I have to reduce it a little bit Make sure you measure your um, straps really well for them to fit so you don't do the same work again and again like I'm doing right now. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. It feels no. I'm just putting it together. That way, when we are sewing it, it's easy. Everything's together. And yes, and that way it looks also neat. So this is our bag right now. It's almost really finishing. So I'm going to start around just really a little bit, not much. Um, the fabric is thick, 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 thick. Yesterday I broke one of my uh, sewing nail and I was so pleased. I was sewing uh, floppy nails for my sofa's new ones for Christmas. So, and I had this plushy, plushy, plushy material and it is and thick and Later, I know that thing was damn bang broken. I was so pleased. Now, like, I have to order some new ones because the original ones which came with this machine they are almost broken. And I have to order some for you never know because I'm really, uh, I saw a lot every day. And it's crazy when you just sit in some, some day and you have no, um, so many Yeah, so. Almost done. Sewing around. So I have to be. Well, now we are kind done for the bottom, and now we turn it, flip it, flip it like that, and then we continue with the sewing. This one is so thick. I hope it won't break my my sewing nail. So let's see. Oh, let's go. God, please help. Let this not break my nail. Careful. Almost done. Now I think that it's complete. I have to check on this one as we continue. As it is not. To open it because I don't like the way it's crumpled. But it's just oh, excuse me, a small part of it. So it when we are making something it has to be correctly made. And this one here it didn't really turn nicely. So I have to open it a little bit. That way we can correct the part. Somehow. It was sewn too much higher than it's supposed to be. That way it's looking crazy. Yeah, these are the things which happen to every sewer, I'm sure. It didn't happen when you don't need it. Such mistakes. So now, it's time to correct this really well. You know, sometimes we just use one sewing without pinning them down. And this um, brings all these troubles. So now, to make the things go easy and correctly, we're going to pin this down. That way it won't bring this damn sticky mistake again. Now let's sew this down. Now 
we left behind on opening i'm going to turn this drop around of the bag and cut it off this excess fabric that way it doesn't look so bulky so now we're going to turn down this drop around here so it's so hard to turn this fabric so i hope you can see me doing this for you i hope you like the enjoy this tutorial please make sure to subscribe to my channel as you'll be supporting your girl to grow to reach the amount needed to start monetizing i haven't been there i haven't i've not been there yet and i'm working hard and with your support now we're closing there okay yeah with your support i will reach the goals we all wanting to reach and i will appreciate so much if you support me and my channel to grow and be able to keep on doing what i love right now so i'm going to um sew this drop down that way it can stay in place. So, so that's how we sew it just up in the middle. And this is how the back supposed to look when I'm done with this drop. So please God help me. Don't let this break. Please. Don't let this happen. side is done so let's do the other side okay it's good It's looking amazing. I love it. Let me trim the ex this small um, threads by showing around. And then we are done with our bag. Our small handbag. It's, as you can see, it's very easy to sew and it goes really quick. I was looking forward to it, really to sew this bag for quite some time now. And yes, I love it. I love the way it turned. So now I need to... Um, let me just sew this drop a little bit. So we don't need to walk it. So now here we are. This bag is oh my god, it, I thought it would be small, but it's really 
big enough you can put stuff inside uh, i don't know you can you see this you can put a lot of stuff inside because it's not that small a lot can go in so <laughs> i love it i'll make some photos with it but let me just take the camera over there and i'll show you guys how this big thing is already like you know um so as you can see the bag is not small it's quite big i do, i have just put this box you can see this box the way it is it's not small it goes in and we have really a lot of space still for more stuff to go in and this is looking really nice i love it i really love it you can put your um your pocket money in there you can put your makeup when you go somewhere and just just you know pick stuff inside and then you're just good to go so i hope you like you like it and make sure make sure you subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel make sure you um subscribe 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 comment how you like the tutorial and yeah and i mean how you how you um what do you think i can improve or if do better but the bag is looking really great it's fluffy i love it um, i have more um I, maybe i'll make more if people order this and yeah it look, it's looking really amazing 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 <laughs>